Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. Featuring undiscovered artists from across the globe. Unlocking the music from hip-hop to rock. We got it. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I'm your host, Sincere on Beats. And I'm your girl, Daisy. D-A-Y-C-E in the place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know it. Yo, this show, this show right here is called, it's Christian Rap Garbage. Is it? You want to know? You really want to know? <laughs> do I want to know your opinion? Do you, do you really want to know <laughs> my opinion? According to your mug. Everyone is entitled to your opinion. Yo, we could we, we we could talk about that later. You know what I'm saying? We could talk about <laughs> so that we later. We gonna get into that after we after uh, you tell us about our sponsor. Yeah, yo, our sponsor. Go to b e a u t e p a r dot com, beautypar dot com, um, where you can get some nice products for uh, for your lady, or if you're a lady, go for get yourself. something for yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hook yourself up. Go hook it up. Yes. So that's beautypar dot com. B e a u t e P A R dot com. And what are some of the products they can get? Uh, they could get some skincare items, um, some some apparel, and then you could also get um, like a, a a nice face mask. Yeah. Oh. That you can. It, it's like sunglasses, but mm -hmm. it's um it's clear. You can see your face and all that, but it protects you from the COVID and anybody else's breath. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a good thing. It's always a great thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But check this out. Um, we're going to go to the artist of the week. All right. I'm excited. Graham Thomas. He's one yes. of the hip hop artists that I really like listening to. Um, he got a song titled Ain't It Funny. Uh -huh. So we're going to check it out right here. Unlocking the music. Y'all see why I ain't joking no more. Y'all see why I ain't on the stage like that no more. Y'all see why I've been putting all these messages in the films for y'all to wake up. Right. I've been on this, man. Killing our people. All this stuff, man, don't make no sense. See, that's the problem I'm saying. People got to take for us to die, for us to listen, man. Don't make no sense. I'm tired of all these summits. I'm tired of all this stuff. Oh, we got to be over here. We going to do this. All these town hall meetings, I'm done with it. We need solution-based products. That's it. I saw it funny ever since I was little. They love Ray and hated christening through Malcolm in Middle. Cause we a riot, ratings rise, and the outcome is brittle. Y'all was watching, y'all ain't noticed the riddle. I spell it out for you kiddos. They sit calm and watch the state of the culture. Yeah. Baroque got televised, we look divided and altered. Oh, just dance, little puppy, you so nuts. Oh, shucks, it's all entertainment, you know us. Your name Omadi, you black and you on job. The boss hog, you look as bad as ball rob. A street fighter, Susan, he calling in all dogs. They can kill you with no crime and they calling it all law. Retaliation cannot be bloodshed. I'm telling you, this is spiritual war and it's intelligence. We gotta go intelligent with this. We done with it, man. I got you. I got okay. Love. If it's a problem with my brother and me, yep. we can act the fool in house. That ain't for others to see. Best nobody. believe it's gravy now because it's smothering beef. Yep. Stop it up with the bread of life when we eat. Mm. And if for this you find you're under fire, you can call on his grace. Yep. They never see his hand coming all in their face. Keep it all in the fam because they can hardly relate. Till we moving on up and we straight. They hate it because we're from a different world, so it's part of the game. Yeah. You could be good as Derwin Davis or as smart as Dwayne. Yeah. Could be darker than Kadena, half white like Jermaine. Yeah. Still gonna end up just like Martin and Payne. And it's a cold world in the dumbs if the whole thing is true. It's a special place in hell that they hold it for you. And I gotta tell you, Frank, because from this point of view, you don't want to see no more with the cue. It ain't so funny now, is it? They killing us, man. Yo, that was Graham Thomas with Ain't It Funny. Once again, yo, he's one of the hardest that I, uh, one of the artists that I love listening to. You know, he has bars for days. You know what I mean? And he's talking about something pretty deep. So exactly. Clearly, he's not funny. It's re right? Exactly. That's um, the whole point. He's talking about a lot of stuff uh, going on today. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And you got to really listen to understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's why I like, you know, how he spits and uh, I like his craft. Deep, subliminal. Is uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so check it out. Um, if you want to become the artist of the week, you know, um, send your music to musicdiarygroup at gmail dot com. Um, MP three, MP four is, is is well welcome. Uh, if you have a video, please send it to us. Um, and no links. Uh, I I don't rock with links. So um, send that information over to us, and let's see if you can be the artist of the week. Yes. So, so what else we got going on right here? Let's see here. You asked the question earlier. I did. I did though. Uh, and you asked this Christian. You you proposed the question. Okay. Is Christian rap garbage? Mm. Right. 
do I, you know, <laughs> do I really think Christian rap is garbage? You know what? Let's see what is Christian rap like first, because I don't, I don't honestly, I don't even know what Christian rap is. Right. That's a, that's a good place to start. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. That's a good place to start. What is Christian rap? And you know what we do? You know what we like to do. We go we like, like doing some research to yeah. see what the heck is it and where is it coming from. Yo, we the research people. So, so yo, we, can you go on to Wikipedia real quick? Yeah, we wiki stuff. Go wiki, look it wiki, up. Wiki, wiki, But listen, y'all don't just go on Wikipedia. Y'all got to cross mm-hmm. cross reference uh, Rick, Wikipedia with other stuff. So. Don't think you're just going to get your information from there. Yeah, so. we gotta, you don't know who, who puts it in. And who. Anybody could do that. Right, right. So what we did find is uh, under Wikipedia, they have, a, they have a Wikipedia for Christian hip-hop. And um, I thought it was interesting. So we're going to okay. read what they, um, a little bit of the history, of where Christian hip-hop came from. Because okay. a lot of us don't know that, right? No. Okay. Is that even so, a thing? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. I guess so. So let's look at this. Let's look at this and see what Wikipedia has to say. So Christian hip hop, originally gospel rap, also known as Christian rap, gospel hip hop or holy hip hop, is a subgenre of hip hop music characterized by a Christian sub-genre. worldview. Sub genre. Sub genre. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Characterized by a Christian worldview. With the general purpose of evangelization or Christian mission work, edifying some members of the church and or simply entertaining. Christian hip-hop music emerged from urban communities in the United States in the 1980s when it existed almost exclusively in small underground scenes. Sounds familiar. So the streets of New York. Right. So with minimal formal industry promotion. Also sounds very familiar, right? Yeah. And little mainstream attention. Which still sounds familiar. Which still sounds familiar. Right. It emphasizes the use of positive and uplifting messages to promote faith and belief. And check this out. Check this out right here. Oh, where is it? Okay. So Christian rap has almost exclusively come out of a Protestant traditions in the United States. It's come out of Protestant traditions. Although... There is a small Catholic rap scene that has recently emerged, and there are also small Christian rap scenes in the UK, Australia, Brazil, Canada, and many other countries where Christians reside and where hip hop music is popular. Wow. So, what do you guys think about that? Wow. Wow. You know, the first thing that stood out to me was, you know, kind of blew my mind here that Christian rap came out of the Protestant church. What do you think about that? What? See, when when we was doing this research, Mm-hmm. That blew my mind, you know what I mean? Because I never knew that much. Mm-hmm. You know, I knew some things, but I never knew that much. And th- doing the research that we did, th- that gave me an impression as that church, which is predominantly white people, because I don't know no black people who actually came who are, out that how, came out of the Protestant who, church. Right, yeah, I mean, I'm sure the there church. are, but I don't really. I don't know any. Know any. Yeah. Not to not to uh you know be offensive to anybody. I'm just listen, this is what we do here. We discuss topics and uh you like it, you don't, that's why you have the thumbs up, thumb down. But we really like the thumbs up, but if you don't hey. Yeah, well you know what I, I think it's kind of well known that, you know, church is divided by race quite a right, you know. Right. Um in, in um sex sex, d- yeah. different sex of you know, denomination. Denomination, yeah, um, yeah. Um are um are divided by race, unfortunately. And so there's, it's a truth yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, you know, Protestant churches are probably predominantly white. So Right. So, so with that, mm-hmm. um, you know, hip hop started back in the 80s in New York, the Bronx, right? Sound familiar? Yeah, right? So <laughs> I, I think they took an opportunity and seized the opp- opportunity to capitalize on what was coming up. What was coming up. Yeah, what was new. What was, was new? It was like the birth of hip hop, right? It, in the, in exactly. The early eighties in in, mm-hmm. in the urban mm-hmm. communities, you know, right? Which is New our York. culture right. in New York. That's our culture, and 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 not to, not to cut you off, but who are the ones that's really rapping now? Young, I would have to say, um, young black black men, right? Dominantly, and you know, you have some women, you have some black women too, but and you got some white men, white men, that white yeah. men, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly, um. That's coming up and and that's been doing this, right? Um, but mm-hmm. I believe some of the culture vultures, yeah, had uh, I don't want to really say infiltrated the 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 hip hop community, but you know, kept wanted to capitalize on uh, 
a, a so-called genre. Right. Or you know what? Even just the Christianity of black people, like right. the spirituality of black people. So right. they saw that hip hop was taking off. Right. And so they said, hey, you know what? You know, black people are real spiritual. Right. So maybe we can put the two together because they like hip hop and they real spiritual. Let's put my, that together. That's going to be hot. Right. Because my <laughs> understanding uh, is, is they went to the streets to mm -hmm. get these artists. Okay. You got these artists from the streets um, doing uh, hip hop. And around the time, you, well, you got these artists from the streets to do so-called Christian rap when hip hop came out. And the thing is, right, because we talked about this, too, when hip hop came out, like, this is like hip hop is a baby right now. Right. And from my understanding, I was a baby, too. Let's okay. Put that there. I think we both were. I wasn't born. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but like um, from my understanding, from the music that I've heard back then from hip hop. It was about social justice. Right, right. So if you got this hip hop talking about social justice, mm -hmm. and then at the same time you're trying to birth what what they call the subgenre. A subgenre. Right? What the heck is a subgenre? Right. Well, you genre. To, you're trying to birth that with just you know rappers talking about Christianity. Mm -hmm. Aren't both messages positive? Right, right. And I mean, I'm surprised that it started in the '80s, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Another thing is. Um, I bet you cats don't really know, like, the history. Like, what was the first so-called Christian rap? Who was the first Christian rapper? Because I would love to know that. Uh, I'll give you a minute to answer that. Time's up. Uh, <laughs> his name is um, MC Sweet. Mm -hmm. The song, <laughs> that song was, uh, it's called, I believe, the... Jesus Christ. The gospel beat. The, the gospel beat. I think that was... The gospel beat. The gospel beat, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. It was like... 13 hours long. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, right? Wasn't that the time? Because I think yeah. that was, it came out, what, 1982? Yeah, So that 1982. was like right around the time with the Sugar Hill Gang mm -hmm. and they 11, 12-minute joints. Yes. Yeah. And, I mean, they were spitting bars for days. Uh, it wasn't no punching in like we do now. So if you mess up one time like we did today because I'm sleepy, <laughs> uh, yeah. you, you, you could punch in, but not back then, you know. Um, yeah, it was called Jesus Christ. The gospel beat. Yeah. That's right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The MC Sweet. You say MC, MC Sweet. Sweet. I believe, yeah. That's you got to look that up. Put that on in your car. We Yo. take you wherever you need to go. and You won't even need to change the song. Word up. I'm telling <laughs> you, just, just, <laughs> just listen to that joint. But, um. Yeah. yeah, that's some good history. It is good history. That's for, you know, if you, if you are a rapper, you know, so-called Christian rapper, you should know that. So what's up with the whole subgenre thing? Cause that that one, what do you think about subgenres? Like, what does that mean? I don't know anything about a subgenre. I'm pretty sure that other people heard of it, but I've never heard of it. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna but be yeah, honest. With say you. your opinion. Yo, speak your opinion. <laughs> they gave me this cup. Uh, I I don't think I don't think it's a thing. Cause that means you could put anything into a uh, genre. Like when you talking about LL Cool J. Right. You know, so like a genre, if, if you separating, because it's really interesting to me how hip hop is hip hop, like you said, uh -huh. right? It's hip hop or, you know, you're in the gospel industry. Exactly. So if you're if you're a hip hop artist, you're a hip hop you're a hip hop artist. Right? Why, so, why? Why do I need to uh, put that in a whole genre? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Why I want to uh, sub genre that? I mean, if you are a hip hop artist, if you are a rapper, you're a rapper. OK, right. you are not a Christian rapper. That's yeah. something you, you you don't hear uh like Kanye West or anybody like J. Cole since he has some kind of inspirational music. Mm -hmm. You don't hear them calling him an inspirational rapper or a Christian rapper. Yeah. What do you hear him say? He's a, a hip hop artist. He's well, a rapper. That's just like, you know, like you said with Kanye West. Um I think a lot of times people say, Well, they didn't you don't say Jesus if you talk about Christ, you a mm -hmm. Christian rapper, but you know, I think Kanye West is a prime example right. of that not counting. Right. Because right. he actually came out with a song called Jesus Walks. Right. And he's he straight up, you know, I'm talking straight about Jesus, but nobody ran and, and slapped a Christian. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> you know what? We're going to keep rolling because, okay. listen, this is what happened just now. Our camera just went out. So we're going to put this as an audio. So we're going to keep going. Okay. It's yeah, we one gonna, of those days. It's huh? one of those days. Listen, we've been 
Man, we've been trying to put this podcast together for the last four hours and been coming on like different, having it different issues. But you know what? We're going to keep rolling. This is going to be audio. Go ahead. Okay. So, you know, nobody um, put um, Kanye West in that in that bubble. Nobody exactly. slapped a label on him when he came out with Jesus Walks. That's right. right? So they put, um, they just, he was still a mainstream rapper. Exactly. But, you know, so why why was he not thrown in the sub in the subgenre? Because he did one song about Jesus. Why did they throw, you know, uh, so-called hip hop artists or Christian hip hop artists. Why did they put a box and a label on him? Right. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I don't like those labels. I mean, what is a Christian rapper? Right. What is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it does. It, it, you know, if if you think about it, it it doesn't make sense. Right. So it's a rapper that happens to be Christian. R- d- boom. <laughs> you are a rapper. A Chris. You are a Christian who happens to rap. Right. But listen. Right. We 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 can't go on. No, we out of time. We are out of time. So what are we gonna talk about next? Are we gonna do a part two? Anyway? Yeah, we have to. We have to be a, do a part two because our video went out. We have technical difficulty today, yes. but that's not gonna stop us. Nope, can't stop us. Can't stop. Won't stop. And so you know, um, we definitely gonna recap. We talked about today. Definitely. And then we're going to get into why Christian rappers feel like they can't go. They can't like um, kind of be free to talk about other things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Other inspirational, positive things. Right. You know, uh, whereas a secular rapper has no concerns about running into a gospel album. Right. Exactly. And then, you know, going back to mainstream. But for some reason, you when you label yourself a Christian rapper, you put yourself in in that box. Prime example, you have uh, Snoop. Mm-hmm. Snoop did a whole album, oh, yeah. a whole gospel a Christian album, whatever right. you want to call it. He didn't feel no kind of way about it, right? Nope. He was like, I'm doing this. And he was proud of it. Proud of it. <laughs> you know, and so. Um, Lauren Hill. But then she you had got, that one song. Yeah. Zion. Zion. Yeah. Zion. And like, so, you know, but a you Christian rapper, you know, you better not. Right. right you better right. not do anything that don't be where you're not saying Christ. Right. Because then you're, you know, that's not what you're supposed to do. So, but we're going to talk about that. Yep. We're going to, we're going to, like I said, recap. We're going to talk about why Christian rap is so unpopular. Mm-hmm. Next, next, you know, part two, part two, we have to do a part two, but listen, that's it for the show. But I need you to do me a favor real quick. What's that? Can you read the comments from last week's show? Yes. And, um, I was going to say too, if you have any comments about this show, what we talked about, if you, you know, we would love to hear from you and read your comments. Mm-hmm. Um, if you, um, you know, let us know what you think about what you heard, the information we gave you. What is what is a subgenre? Do you agree with that? You know, let us let us hear from you. Yes, because yes. we will read your comments. Oh yes, like, we will, and we put you on blast yes. if it ain't right. Nah, let me stop. But uh, we're gonna read uh, so there's like two comments that I like. One of them's from my brother. He's Puerto Rican. So if y'all looking at the comments and y'all don't understand it, he's Puerto Rican. No, oh, wow. <laughs> but I love him. That's my that's my big brother. It's my older brother. Okay, so he says, um, and this is these are the comments from our last show from the X Files. We talked about DMX, and yes. we asked you guys to comment on how he if he um, the lesson you learned from his life. Yes, and um, he said the legacy that DMX left behind was that he was always being humble throughout his music career. No matter what was the what was the episode in his life, he also never forgot who gave him the gift. And just for that action alone makes him an icon and a legacy. Rough Rider for life. And then we also have a comment from uh, Breezy Shoulders. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Breezy Shoulders. I'm going to call her Shoulders. Oh. Shoulders. Shout out to you. Thank you. And so she said, the lesson I learned from DMX is no matter where you go in life, you can always find your way back to God. So true. That is so true. Mm-hmm. And finally, another comment is from Kiana Johnson Jones. Jones, shout out to you. Thank you. She says it's never too late to give your life to God, no matter where you are in life. That is so true. So those are some powerful lessons. I got to yes. throw that in there. Mm-hmm. Got to throw that in there. Yeah, keep responding. We love your we love your comments. Yes, yes, yes. Well, listen, thank you for uh, tuning in with us. So um, as you know, you know, we had technical difficulties again, but uh, uh, tune in next week for part two of the show uh, entitled 
is Christian rap garbage. Mm. If nobody tells you that they love you, remember, we you do. do. Now I know to the world, the rap I pick will make you think I'm a lunatic. Lost my mind, I'm mentally sick. Uh-huh. But for all mankind, this is it. New kingdom on the earth, where the devil don't fit. No more bad times and no more wars in Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floors.